just so scary. I mean, if you just go down the, the laundry list of things that Vinny has on his side, I really shouldn't discredit any player losing to Vinny just because of the fact that, you know, this is our, our one of our American heroes as we have Vinny and Nairo both sitting here. Two players that have given the Japanese such a run for their money as of right now. So, shout outs to them, and that's probably a damn good reason why people are struggling against them. <laughs> Definitely. And going into this game one on Smashville, I'm not surprised. Now, as I always like to start up saying, those armor pieces... Okay. Um, but as I like to say, those pieces need to get out of here. I mean, this is the mistake of the matchup. Vinny's way too smart about it, but as you see, the pieces create mobility. They create follow-ups, options, and such knockback. Nana is just such a feeding zone. <laughs> yeah, it's true, and it's almost like you're playing doubles because you it's a wall. You're just trapped between what feels like two characters. Mm -hmm. And especially with Salem's movement, I mean, if you upgrade it to glide tossing like the way ZSS does, you get situations like this where oh, they God. force Vinny into really needing to get Nana back. And oh goodness, here, it, oh man, oh. And unfortunately, Vinny with a uh, little bit of a whiff there causing him. That's, <laughs> an, that's another positive about the ZSS Ice Climber matchup, though, is that if you whiff a grab, it's very easy for her to down air, uh, not down air, down B out of it. Yes, definitely. Always those solid mobility-based options, especially with Salem and the consistent footstooling. He always will find his way across stage. Yeah, it's true. I just think that Salem's movement is so fluid, but oh goodness gracious, Vinny misses a grab. I know Zero and Samus is a very awkward weight class. And Vinny just trying to create some space, but yeah, that's going to get her. And now Salem's got to be comfortable here because now this becomes almost that, as I always like to joke around, that Mario-esque matchup. As Vinny's so good with Sopo, it's just still such a rough scenario for the little guy. It's true, but I think Salem knows how to play it. He's, he's going for nothing but safe moves so far. He's really not throwing out anything too scary. I mean, the down smash is safe on Popo's shield, most definitely. Mm -hmm. So That's zero on shield. Zero on shield, and against Sopo, he's not going to be able to punish that at all. Definitely not. And uh, I think this is where Vinny needs to just breathe a little bit. I think the biggest reason why Vinny can do such a good job against Salem is he catches Salem almost putting in a little too much effort, you know? Salem gets a little bit more reactive and a little bit more on the aggro basis, and Vinny seems to really respond to that very well. And, oh, oh goodness. Oh, my God. That's Vinny's another tech error. mechanical skills. So good, but, but almost mm. getting that, you know? Definitely. Vinny making the smart option there, though. Choosing to wait and let Nana come back to him instead of going right into a uh, chase out of Salem's uh, trip. Ooh, that could have been a dead ZSS if he had hit that spike. And I, I'm a little shocked. Vinny's placement's a little bit off today. I mean, you know, uh, I'm not too worried, but at the same point, I have to make note of it that it's something we don't expect to see from the man returning from Japan. Well, you know what? Vinny's always saying that he's bad in doubles or something like that, and... I don't know, I just, I felt like he wasn't feeling it today as well as Sammy wasn't feeling it today, so, I don't know. So as much as uh, Chibo and Salem were feeling it yeah, today. Yeah, they were most yeah. definitely feeling it today. <laughs> they were on point, they played well, so props to them. But I, it seems like Vinny has figured out the weight class for Zero Suit Samus. He just hit a chain grab, oh. but Nana lost her life there. Salem, was, very impressive play there. Quarter in the down smash, and then really managed to just follow up with a solid gimp. Now Vinny's really going to have to play on point. Wow. Impressive DI. Oh, good stuff from Vinny, but he can only hope to tack on so much damage. Now, and there it the is, my man Kitaro sitting not too far away. And is it the number? Oh, only a 51, though. As we know, that patented 56 that you will see from Sopo scares so many characters. It's true. I know ZSS it does fall relatively quickly, so she does fall prey to that. And what's, what's even worse now is it's just such a percent difference. I mean, if you come into any kind of... It's not going to happen, but a timeout scenario. I mean, look at this. The, it, it, we're talking one grab kill here. That's what's so scary about that yeah. early chain grab is that if he nails that on second stock and you're on last, the amount of gas he just took out of your tank is not even right. The put man's sugar. a thief. He put sugar in your Yeah, gas. he did. So a solid game one for Vinny. A little shaky at first, not really realizing how to chain grab Zero Suit Samus and... Salem honestly playing very well. But he always has that same look after game one, like, sh you know, Shiza, he figured me out. What yeah. am I going to do? I, he's cooking something up. Yeah, I guarantee he you. He's right back to Smashville, though. I can't blame him. Uh, I probably wouldn't want to play uh, Ice Climbers on any other stage with Zero Suit Samus. 
See, now this is the biggest thing I say about Salem that you have to be so careful with. When he throws that piece downwards, you should not be making forward motions whatsoever because that's the combo piece right there. Straight downwards, combos one into another, and that's why he consistently throws it downwards. Now he's just picking great options to separate them. Ooh, oh, scary moment for Salem. Oh, that was very nice. The Nair covered his, his landing. And it did. And now Ooh, Vinny, I almost fight you. Yeah, there you go. And finally picking the right option as we get an awkward little uh, sound clip semi, there. Semi stun. Oh, a fatal mistake there from Vinny. And as always, we hear uh, Jeff yelling in the background as of right now. I haven't heard an 8B chant though. <laughs> so, oh, oh goodness, right, that and was. <laughs> there's there's some real shield pressure right there, if you ask me. I mean, <laughs> wow, that was absolutely devastating. Yeah, yeah. I know that's, that's... got to be extremely demoralizing. And this is what I always worry about with Vinny versus Salem, that you just see it in his eyes. Salem is so fierce going against so many players, but whenever he goes against Vinny, there's always just that, that look in his eyes, you know? It's just not the same. It's not that same confident, determined, I know what I need to do to win. Well, Vinny is just so good at every random little matchup for oh, whatever he is. reason. And what's going on right now is you see Salem struggling to get stage control, really just opting to stay up high, not finding his answers. He needs to get some kind of grounded option because this is the uh, scary part. Vinny. <laughs> A nice pickup from Vinny, but unable to finish it. And as we know, our man Vinny always... Oh! Goodness. Wow. Oh my god, Vinny and the is so smart. <laughs> and the upside of having two characters is when one's not edgehogging, that other one better be on the ledge. And let me tell you, Vinny's stuck to that game plan. Excellent play by Vinny. That was wow. have been more perfect. Oh man, and what execution. Making up for the tech error as he's going to get the down throws right here. He's going to look for the hold and... Oh, that, that was a popo fair. So that boy, that was looking for that early kill. I mean, you did find Salem at 56 right there, so... And you could see just the, the the sheer worry from Salem right now as he's oh really struggling to find an answer. Vinny's just in his face like he's Nairo all of a sudden. What is going on? Vinny just went very hard. He actually comboed a uh, single squall into Nana get up attack. Was, Goodness gracious. Always interesting to see funny And Salem like really struggling to find that option to get Nana out of here right now as he misses the bear, catches the hobble, gonna get a re-grab, and... Oh. oh, he misses the hobble. I... I would imagine it's very awkward on light characters. Yes, I've it only, is. I've only tried hobbling Meta Knight, actually. That's one of the few times I've seen the SDI really work in someone's favor. Salem actually SDI directly in front of Vinny so that both of the ice blocks ended up missing. Okay, so Salem has... I mean, you oh. can never count this man no, out. No, you can't. One go. single combo and Nana could die. And down smash is just so good against Popo. But that was incredibly unsafe. He was playing with fire there. He just keeps... Pushing oh, himself to the ledge as he trips. Sakurai just giving Salem a pat on the head and says, "Maybe next time, kid." <laughs> like, unfortunately, unfortunately turn of yeah. I just goodness, man. He so, seems to be taking it in decent heart, but he I always can't seems to. That. But like I said, it's just there's something about those two when they.